Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alexandra Herbushka. Welcome to day 30 of 60 of my postpartum journey. As you can see, I am pumping. It is three o'clock in the morning because I did not get a chance to get it done today. So, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I totally understand this multitasking and as a mom now, like you just do what you gotta do when you gotta do it. So, uh, just to give you a quick update on where I am and what we're gonna talk about today, I wanna talk to you today about three foods that I've added to my diet. Uh, since being in postpartum, so I'll get to that. And just give you a quick update, I am on a 60-day postpartum weight loss journey before being, or when I got pregnant, I weighed 120 pounds, that's what my body likes, it's what I like, and now I am, well, when I went into the hospital, I weighed 152, so I gained 32 pounds, and now today when I weighed myself, I was 136 again. So if you've been following me on the last couple days, I've gone from 136 to 133, back to 136, just kind of all over the place. It's just, you know, water weight, what, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just what's going on with my body. Um, we'll talk about that in another episode of why I think it's kind of going up and down, up and down. But um, as far as exercise, I'm not released to do any exercise. I'm only four weeks postpartum, so I am uh, just resting. I did try some exercise about a week ago and I totally got busted by my doctor. So I am just resting, taking care of my body, taking care of my baby and enjoying my family. So what else? What are my goals? Like what do I wanna work up to? Of course, ideally I'd like to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight and I'd like to get back to exercising. It's something that's really important to me. I enjoy it, I crave it, I want it. I've done it since I was 16. So I wanna get back to walking around my community, which is about three miles. I used to do that three times a week, so I'd love to get back to that. And then I am obsessed with bar, obsessed with bar, so I'd love to get back to bar four times a week. Okay, also a funny little side note, this is my second set of pajamas tonight because the first set I had the night sweats and also Clinton stood up all over me. So this is my second set, mom life. Okay, so what are some three foods I've added to my diet in postpartum? So I'll go through the three and explain why, and I uh, can't wait to hear what you think or if there's something you've added. So number one is celery. To me, it's like a food I always overlooked. It's just, in my opinion, like so boring, unless you make ants on a log. But um, celery is something that I feel like is so boring, yet I didn't know it's jam-packed with nutrients and it does a lot for bloating and weight loss. So it is packed with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, uh, vitamins like A, K, uh, and C. Those are all important ones. Also it's packed with minerals such as uh, potassium, magnesium, folate. These are all really important minerals and antioxidants. So who doesn't want antioxidants, right? Those are all beneficial for our health. And the other thing that's really great about it is it is a natural diuretic. So it helps you uh, lose some water weight and it also helps with bloating. So it's a great food. It's something I've been adding. I've been putting it in my salads. I've also been picking up, well, or my husband, um, if I get out of the house, I will go to Whole Foods and get just a huge thing of celery juice. So I'll drink that um, and it definitely helps with the bloating and it, it yeah, it helps. I don't have my wedding ring on now, but it definitely helped with that. So, yeah, celery. Who knew? Again, I always thought of it as being so boring. But ants on the log, right? Like, I love peanut butter and celery. Who doesn't like that? <laughs> okay, the next thing I've added, which has been something that I needed on hand, is when you're breastfeeding, which is I'm pumping right now, as you can see, I am famished, so I'm usually so hungry when I'm breastfeeding. I wake up hungry. Um, there's times when, with Clinton, like I just need to put something in my mouth right now. And so I've been trying to look at things that are high in protein, uh, low in carbs, or high in fiber. You'll see another episode, I'll talk to you why I count fiber, not calories, or fiber, not carbs. Um, fiber and protein are really important to me in my diet. It's what I feel helps uh, me maintain my weight. So I'm always looking for things that are high in protein, low in carbs, and that are 
easy to use. So I have some hard boiled eggs on hand. I've been having them as a snack probably around 10.30, anywhere between 10.30 and 11.30 in the morning. Eggs, as you know, are high in protein. They're uh, also really easy to have on hand. They're cheap and they're high in vitamins, right? Nutrients, they're just overall great for you. So there's a lot of nutrients in them and they're just easy to grab. So that's something that I've added. Now the first week of postpartum, there's no way I would have even had time to peel a hard boiled egg. Like even the thought of peeling a hard boiled egg would have been too much effort. But now it's something I can just peel really quick and pop in my mouth and make sure that I'm fueling my body with something good. The next thing that I have on hand that I have been doing and eating, it's usually my afternoon snack, so that's usually around like 4.30 in the afternoon, is Greek yogurt. That, again, is something I haven't really had in the past. Uh, mainly, I didn't have dairy until, I, well, I cut out dairy because I have genital herpes, and um, actually, diuret dairy is really healthy for herpes, but I cut it out because when I was diagnosed with herpes, I had a lot of acne, I had a lot of yeast infections, and the dairy was something that was contributing to um, all that. So I cut the dairy out when I was pregnant, I added it back in. And now that in my postpartum, I have added definitely a lot of Greek yogurt back in. One, it's high in protein, low in carbs, uh, low in calories, because get, I get the non-fat, and it has probiotic elements in it, and again, it's just high in protein, and it's easy for me to take a couple of scoops. It's very filling. Um, a lot of times I'll add some nuts to it just to get some crunch, make it a little exciting. I'll put some cinnamon on top. I don't know, I'll make myself like a nice little Greek yogurt parfait, I guess. I don't know. So those are three things that I've added to my diet. Again, celery, hard-boiled eggs because they're easy, high in protein, easy to get. Um, low in calories, you know, just trying to keep things moving through my body. And then Greek yogurt. So all three are really beneficial. I'd love to hear what you added to your diet or what you're eating as a new mom. Again, when you are breastfeeding, it makes you so hungry. And that's something I had to be, in my opinion, a little bit cautious of because it's so easy just to be like, I'm so hungry. I could go through like a ton of french fries or I could eat a bag of chips or I could eat a bunch of cookies or I could eat an entire cake, right? Like I really could eat all that because I am that hungry, but I know that that's not beneficial, right? It doesn't help me, it doesn't help Clinton, doesn't do anything really in my body. So other than just sit there. So again, I just try to pick things that were healthy. Again, I'd love to hear what you're eating. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you are doing on your journey. Um, any tips, recommendations, I'd love to hear about it. All right, I, I'm i done pumping. I'm at 21 minutes. Yes, I can go back to bed. And I can't wait to see you in day 31. So I have 30 days to go. 30 days, we'll see. We'll see how I do.